G'day, g'day, Ginger Ninja here. Fallout 3 is a game that a lot of people will remember as just pure nostalgia. Now, it was an excellent game, game of the year, um, but a lot of people these days on PC have a lot of trouble running it, and I'm basically going to show you how I got it to run, and hey, it works. I have about a crash every three hours, which is pretty good anyway, so... Alright, for this you're going to need three steps. You're going to need the dual core fix, the 4GB patch, and a no CD version. Now, as you can see, I'm running a lot of mods, and they do take their toll. Uh, the most of which is Fook 2, which is notably um, unstable and will cause a lot of crashes. But I seem to do pretty good, considering. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is a dual core fix. To do this, you'll need to go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 3 folder, and open the Fallout.ini. Now, what you want to do there is look for Be Used Threaded AI and set it to 1, and set inum hw threads to 2. Now, what this does is it it forces the game to only use two cores in your multi-core system because the engine can't actually manage more than that. The 4 gigabyte patch, I'm going to have a link to this in the description, it's an excellent thing. Just double click on it, uh, yes, run, now click on your Fallout 3 and hit open. Now I didn't follow the prompts, it's pretty simple to use. What that does is it allows Fallout 3 to use more than 2 gigabytes of RAM which greatly increases stability and loading screens. I have zero issues now. The no CD version. You're going to want 1.7.03. That's the one with all of the DLCs and it's available on Game Copy World. Link in the description. That just about wraps it up guys um, and gals. Enjoy the game. Get back into DC. It's an excellent game with the mods and uh, not being able to play it is just sacrilege. And you know what? Just enjoy blowing up mutants and uh, shooting raiders in the face. It's a lot of fun. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe blow up, maybe. Have a good one!